Hello and welcome to the Sons of Thule. Today we are going to do the uh, group mission safe passage. Uh, this will be the final uh, mission we need to get the hero of bloody Kithkor. So this is going to be uh, pretty fun. And this one is actually kind of challenging. Uh, I did it on my Necromancer and it was it was easy, right? He's 120. Uh, but uh, doing this at in level is going to be a challenge. So let's go ahead and get started here. Welcome to our camp, Zerd. I hope you're here to help. We could sure use it. The latest in our string of emergencies is the situation with the refugees in the common lands. Our reports have indicated that the Dark Elves are now aware of the refugees and are plotting to eliminate them. This must not happen. I need someone to help escort them from the common lands back to here. Escort? I knew you would be willing to help. I have uh, several soldiers with the refugees already who could, should be able to help you get them through the Dark Elf lines. You can find these refugees holed up in the tunnel in the desert row. Speak with Scout Fathom when you are ready to go and he'll sneak you past the Dark Elf guard. So we're going to go ahead and accept this. A safe passage. It's a group quest. Well, I guess I should say it's a shared task, but uh, it is group quest, so... Now we gotta find this guy. I can't remember where he's at. Oh, there he is right here. All right, let's get everybody over here. And we'll go ahead and get this going. Make sure they'll have him targeted. Go ahead and hail him. Bravian told me to expect you. We'll need to be cautious on the way through the enemy lines. We can't risk the Dark Elves learning of the rescue attempt. Let me know when you're ready. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, broadcast. Click ready and broadcast off real quick because I always forget. Uh, that should make everybody say ready. Except the Bard. The Bard had text at a different location. Yeah, she, her uh, her window's larger. I just noticed that she doesn't have a uh, bed. Uh, so there we go. All right, we're here in uh, in the Commonlands. Where are we at, though? All right, wow. The other quest put us way over there, so this one put us on this end. All right, I'm going to shrink up. And let's go uh, make our way there. Make sure everybody's on follow. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, this is going to be, you know, interesting quest, right? We have to go from here all the way to here. Uh, and the, we take this path uh, kind of like right around here. Kind of the way I'm running now, but uh, more closer to the green over there. Um, it's not... Uh, I don't know. It's the problem I had when I did with my necromancer is they come single file, right? And you'll have a group of NPCs at one end and another end. You know, it's like a really long chain, like a conga line. And I found it a little bit, of, a little bit of effort to uh, go back and forth between everything. And uh, yeah, so let's go over here. They're already shouting saying they're attacked, so I don't know what's going on with that. Alright, looks like... here we go. And we'll just have to attack them all. I can't use AoE here because uh, it will not work in our favor. Let's just say that. Alright, speak to the colonel. Hopefully these dumb uh, NPCs don't attack us because of our XR. Thanks for your help. Those raiders, uh, with those raiders, Zerd, they had uh, cut their way through quite a few of my men. I was beginning to worry now how we would stop them. And I, I, <laughs> I had heard Bravian it was sending help for us. I can only assume that you are that help. Everyone here is packed up and ready to go. When you give the word, I was planning on staying in the desert edge. Hopefully stay away from the Dark Elf and their patrols. 
we need to keep an watch out for ambushes. And to clear the way, we should run in. This, and to clear the way, should we run into any dark, dark elf encampments? All right. All right, everybody, let's move out. All right, as you can see, they're already kind of single file. So let's go uh, down here. And kind of wait for them. Uh, so I won't be able to do any AOE things or anything like that. And we got to be kind of careful about what we attack. Uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, it is going to be, you know, what we got to keep an eye out for. See, as you can see, this is kind of like how they walk. The entirety of the way some of these are kind of bunched up so that's nice the army of light uh soldiers will help attack the npcs that come but other than that the uh civilians are kind of uh kind of useless there we go they're kind of teleporting <laughs> all right so we uh we have the bard uh this is the benefit that i'm gonna have over my necromancers i'll be able to run fast to intercept things uh, and so we just got to keep our head on a swivel uh this quest i don't know how long it's going to take but uh it is uh it's a quest that takes a little while it's it's an escort mission all right so a ambush appeared there it is there we go as you can see, they're they're kind of helping. Just got to be careful. All right. And they 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 seem a little more bunched up than they were for my uh, necromancer. Like when I did it with uh, Nomagard, they were all like this, and it was like this massive train. But see, these ones are all kind of bunched up, which is kind of nice. It's a lot less to defend, but we should get some more emotes letting us know uh, if anything else is going to show up. And I think most of the attacks come from this side here. So it's just a matter of finding them. All right. Where are these guys at? Oh, there's a guy. All right. Go, 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 go. Of course I can't target the guy. Yeah, he killed somebody. So, yeah, I'm trying to tab target him, uh, but since I can target all the other guys, it's kind of annoying, right? And now I'm, uh, now I'm rooted. See if I can clear it, clear that real quick. There we go. Uh, Radiant Cure is great. <laughs> I miss uh, the Purify, uh, Purify Body, I believe it is, that the uh, monk has. Uh, you can just shed off all those uh, dots really easy. All right, where are they at? They're right there, okay. So we just need to keep an eye out. There's a giant over there, a nightfall giant. And I don't know what the threshold is on how many you can lose, but uh, let's kind of fall back, I guess, and see if it's attacking from back here. so hard to tell. There's an assassin right there.
and it's it's we're lucky that we, we get help from these guards uh there is a named guard somewhere around here that he uh he's a little stronger than the other ones but uh i figured out why the uh, crude defiant stuff drops all these mobs that are higher level right so we have the lower level ones that normally drop crude defiant uh but the higher level ones can shift between higher level and lower level mobs i had a bear uh, we'll go from a level 70 bear to a level uh, like 5 bear. It was weird. It was like mid-combat too. So there's some kind of uh, some kind of thing going on with that. But uh, definitely uh, an interesting mechanic. I think it had something to do with the, the guys in the corruption circles. Spreading the corruption and whatnot. All right, how far are we? So we're almost to the end, actually. Uh, this is actually going a lot quicker than I remember. So let's keep let's keep up with this guy. It looks like everything's been been attacking from the front, which has been a, a little bit better. I know there's like two more, two or three more ambushes coming up. But uh, I don't remember exactly where they were. All right. Everything's looking good. And then they turn like right here. Now there's uh, the, the different camps here, but they just have to make it to Black Blackheart Camp. That's all they have to make it to. Or, well... They don't. Uh, <laughs> the named guy has to make it, and that's what triggers the end of this quest. Hopefully, everything's going good now. I just don't. I don't like escort quests at all in in games, especially when you're like escorting helpless people that can die. It's just kind of annoying because they never really run as fast. I would rather prefer the, uh, you know, something follows you and you escort it, but at the same time, they're uh, more like a pet and they can help. Versus this, you know, they're independent and they do whatever they want, but they are completely helpless in every possible way. All right, looks like we're doing fairly well here. I'm going to scout up ahead just a little bit. Where are we at? Okay, we're close. So I feel like there's going to be an ambush somewhere right about here. I don't know what the trigger is, but it should have happened by now. There it is. All right, that looks clear up there. There they are. I'm going to send my pets at that one. Oh, God. All right. So I think I got him. I think I got him coming at me. I'm going to send my pets on this one. All right. There's two. Oh, assassin's right there. We're going to have to get him. him and I think a second ambush just happened got him at least I thought I got that one I have three on me four There's another one somewhere. There's two of them back there. Send the pads. Can I terror him? There we go. And I, I don't even know if another one attacked. All right, do I have another Radiant Cure? Oh, uh, Radiant Cure removes one detrimental effect. That's why I like to cast it. 
All right, how are we doing up here? Okay, everybody is here. This is the meeting spot, right? And I think hopefully this is the named guy. No, those are just pawns. Yeah, there's the colonel. All right, so I think we're good. Wow, this took a lot less time than I thought it would. <laughs> oh, that is nice. I was expecting this to be a little bit more difficult, honestly. We'll just stay with Colonel. Those guys are like pretty much safe at this point. I think we all, I only I only noticed like one or two die. Ah, uh, there might have been another one, but uh, I was not a, not that bad. I think it helps that I was able to send the uh, all the pets at everything. All right, things to you. We, we've made it to the forest with an extra army of light. With the extra army of light troops, we should have no trouble with the rest of the journey. You should return to Fronavai and let her know you know, we are safe. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and head back. All right, we're back here at Fronavai. So let's go ahead and hail her. Or no, we speak to her. Oh, you son of a gun. Was I supposed to hail him? I hailed him. Is he here? What did I do wrong? Here, let me go. Let me get, uh... Let me run back. I should send us back to the same instance we were in, since I didn't kill the mission yet. That doesn't even make sense, honestly. I hailed him to get the text. Alright, we're back at him and the colonel. Let's hail him. There we go, jeez. Uh, so, the, I don't know why it didn't register, but uh, make sure you keep that in mind when you're, uh, when you're uh, doing this one, because... I hailed him to get the return, and he did not register on any of my characters. So let's go ahead and uh, return. All right, and with the re finishing of that, it says, uh, with the, the refugees now safe, the leaders of the Army of Light can return their full attention to the approaching battle. All right, so it looks like we completed the Army of Light, and we get a Paragon Helmet. We'll take a look at that here in a second. And uh, for completing that mission, we got 90 crowns, uh, some faction, and a time sheer fragment so if we open up achievements right uh that was the hero of bloody kith core that we finished and then the army of light this is from the hero's journey so if we go progression hero's journey boom there we go and we finished that one too i didn't even expect that one so uh i'm do i'm recording this on a friday and i stream on saturday so i'm going to save starting the army of obliteration for that uh which will should go pretty quick we only have these what one two three four five what, five quests there uh we don't need to do any more missions and uh we need these ones too so one two three four five six seven eight and i think there's some overlap in that so uh probably less than less than 10 quests and we're done with this whole uh Whole thing and that'll give us uh, the savior of bloody kith core so that's our goal uh for the next stream and then we'll get started into that'll get us into 82 uh and then we can get started on uh savior of a field of scale which is uh, gonna be fun so uh there we go that is safe passage i'm gonna go ahead and end it here uh, i'm gonna do a little aa experience for a little while and then uh I don't think I have any more videos until tomorrow. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.